Hey guys, it's me, Ronald Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We've got that powerhouse low still slamming California with big totals. There's more yet to accumulate. They're reporting like 30, 31 inches of snow in some places so far. You're going to add to that during the day. And then the next stop for this slow moving low, big low, is parts of Idaho. Utah, parts of Wyoming, parts of Montana, parts of Colorado will all see big totals from this. And there's a possibility down the road of a snowstorm for the Northeast, 1216 to 1217. So I'll look at all that in this update. First of all, camera, this is at Mammoth um, and it's still snowing hard. I mean, you can tell on all the cameras, it's not done yet. Um, I mean, it's like a fire hose slamming into a Sierra right now with this moderate atmospheric river and a very strong low. You can see the big low right there um, hitting California. This is water vapor, so the oranges and reds represent drier air aloft. And once this big low ejects from the west and moves to the east, the west really settles down after this big low. Let's look at uh, Kirkwood. They're reporting a solid 30. Yeah, look at that. It's still snowing. Still snowing pretty good up there. Some people in line. I can see them in the distance. Man, you'd have to already be in position um, for this, with a storm like this. All right, so I talked about the setup. Um, just now published this on my blog, chrystomer.com. Big totals continue through 1215, then calmer out west. Take a look at it. Went into the setup. We're going to look at the, um, the jet flow here now. Um, so this is the 1212 jet flow, big trough, trying to spit out this low, but uh, it's a little cut off and it's going to take some time. It's going to spin like a bowling ball for about three days and drop heavy totals in eastern uh, Montana, eastern uh, parts of uh, Wyoming, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. The Dakotas are going to get nailed too. It's a big one. Um, here's 1213, not much movement. That's why the wraparound effect is going to be significant when you see some of the totals in the central and northern mountains of Colorado because of that wraparound for days. Now, looking way down the road, 1220, much calmer across the west. The main flow on the northern branch brings a little load down from Banff through Montana, but the numbers, as you'll see coming up, are very light. So once the big low moves out, it's much calmer across the west. All right, back to the blog here. So I also went into timing uh, with this. Uh, here is my uh, forecast radar and satellite. So by the time we get into Monday morning, the big low comes out of California, starts to spread snow, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, and then, I mean, it just becomes this blizzard for the northern plains. Um, but there it is on 12, 15, and 12, 16, it's finally moving away and becomes a storm system for the northeast. And then look at the west, 1216, it is much calmer across the west, much, much calmer. All right, so that's the setup with timing. Let's go into totals, and I did this in two different phases, and we're going to look at the northeast. So phase one, 1211, all of today through the 15th. So there's still additional snow in the Sierra, and then I've got one to two feet for the Wasatch, about a foot down at Bryan Head. Uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 across the Tetons, less as you get up into Montana, but boy, eastern Montana and eastern Wyoming are really in for blizzard conditions. Now, down in Colorado, those big numbers you see, I-70 north, especially close to the Continental Divide and the Front Range, from Steamboat Inn, Vail Inn, east, um, that's because of the wraparound. It's not all going to fall at once. It's going to fall over a few days. Um, so big numbers potentially there if the storm sets up with the wraparound effect. Um, and then everything else is pretty light as you go up into the Pacific Northwest simply because the jet's so far away. Storm tracks way to the south. All right, the second phase of this, 1216 to 1219, remember the split flow, northern branch, tiny low, moving fast, a clipper. Um, so light accumulations out of BAM, Pacific Northwest, Montana, Wyoming. And then that's it. All the action at this point is off to the northeast. So that's the possibility. Let me show you the northeast. 1212 through 1219. Now this assumes that a large coastal low develops, 1216, 1217. Essentially the remnants, um, the spin in the atmosphere from our big western storm. Um, if it happens, then we get big totals. I'm optimistic here. Um, it gives you some hope. If the coastal low doesn't develop or moves away from the coast, then, or moves closer in, you know the story, then the numbers um, change, then they go down in most cases. So this is a possibility. Again, that would mainly happen 1216 through 1217, but back to 
the totals here for 1211 through 1215. The places to ski are definitely uh, the Wasatch, the Tetons, and then you can't go wrong in Colorado. And of course, if you can catch um, the Sierra, Tahoe down to Mammoth, today, tomorrow, or the day after, you'll still have good snow. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.